hi guys uh, in this video we'll be covering memory management memory management is very important for your applications because iPhone doesn't have iPhone or iPad doesn't have that much memory like a computer all the applications have restricted memory usage so you need to make sure you use whatever memory you have in an optimum way so let's go ahead and make and see what how you can do how you actually use the how you actually use the memory uh, so I go to my X core I make a new application and every time I've made a new application let me make it for iPhone and if I make a new I create this application and uh, if you see there's something called as memory in in the dot in the main file in the main.m file we have we have a ns auto release pool this is a pool that is made for your application by the main file where all the auto released objects are saved what are these auto release objects let's go ahead and make some make an object so suppose i want to make an ns string string star str equal to ns string allocate memory now this is where you are allocating memory and i say in it and so this is where you will be allocating some memory for the for the type string and i can have it say in it with say string hello string so once i have this 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 much some amount of memory that is allocated for a object in a string now once you're done using your using this string variable use the string variable and once you're done with it you have to make sure that you release it so every time you say allocate and there are a few other keywords if you allocate memory or you say retain to an object or you say you want to create a new object or you want to say uh, or you say copy so for all these keywords you have to release the memory so if I say string retain if I say that I have to release it again uh, if I say string copy I'm making another new op allocating more memory so for every one of these allocate retain new copy you have to release the memory yourself but what if uh, you make a string string with for a uh, say string hello so in this case you're not allocating any memory so who releases this memory this memory is really uh, this memory is uh, released by this pool so that's how the memory management works in iPhone application you can also also say and a string allocate in it with string some string and then you can say auto release so what auto release does is it will release the memory when the when the compiler thinks there is not any more required by the program so it's it's very risky to use this because it might release it in when you are not doing anything with it and suppose you need it some time later so it's very if uh, very useful to use auto release only when you know that you're not going to use it later on with the object so you should be very careful by using auto release it's very helpful but it might be risky so i would always say use auto release uh, when you know that you'll be using it in the next say next uh, next set of statements and then you don't need it anywhere but i would always prefer using allocate and then releasing it wherever whenever you're done using that particular object that is the best solution for most of the objects mm. so that's uh, all about memory management uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions please let me know thank you